butterflies and moths look very similar. Both of them are insects with wings. However, people visit a conservatory to see one of them, but try to avoid the other. From time to time, people have trouble figuring out which one is which. Then, how can we distinguish them? Usually, butterflies' wings are folded vertically over their backs, but moths sit with their wings spread out to their sides. Because of this behavior, we can see the patterns on butterflies' wings from their side, but we can only see the patterns of moths' wings from their back when they sit still. Butterflies' wings are comparatively large with colorful patterns, and these patterns are because of the colorful scales on their wings, like you can see in this picture. Beautiful! But moths' wings are small and dull colored. They have larger scales, and these make moths look more dense and fluffy. It is believed that moths have larger scales to conserve their heat at night because their scales provide an insulating layer. However, butterflies don't need larger scales because they can absorb enough sunlight during the day. Butterflies and moths look similar, but their body structures are slightly different. Normally, butterflies have slender, thinner bodies than moths. But moths usually have hairier, fatter bodies. Both butterflies and moths have antennae attached to their head. Butterflies' antenna are usually thin and slender, and they are club-shaped at the end. Moth's antenna, however, are normally smaller and are feathery instead of having club-shaped ends. This feature is pretty obvious, but it does not apply to all the species. Certain types of butterflies lack the club ends, and some moths have clubbed antenna. So you may want to check other characteristics at the same time. Both butterflies and moths undergo complete metamorphosis. Simply speaking, complete metamorphosis means that these insects change their forms while they grow up to become adults. They both pass through four stages, including eggs, larvae or caterpillars, pupae, and adults. The significant difference is related to the pupa stage. The pupa is the bridging stage between the crawling larva and the flying adult. When they are ready, Caterpillars make chrysalises or cocoons, which are both protective coverings for the pupa. Butterfly caterpillars usually make chrysalises from a hardened type of protein. Moth caterpillars, on the other hand, spin cocoons that are made out of silk. Most butterfly species are diurnal, so they are active during the day. Moth species are usually nocturnal, so they are awake during the night. Some types, though, are the opposite. For example, sunset moths are day-flying moths, and male gypsy moths fly both day and night in search of females. Now you know how to tell the differences between butterflies and moths. That's all I have for today. Thank you.